There are bad people here, bad people there, but there are so many good people in the middle, you know. It's just, and that's what we're here for, to help those people in the middle meet each other and be mm -hmm. happy and create happy families. To answer tonight's poll question, I have no experience in dating a woman who is from another country. Well, Mark, time to, you know, get that experience. Paul, the one uh, time I went, had two uh, women I dated that really was only looking for my money, but I'm still hopeful. <sighs> well, you know, I mean, of course there are people like this, you know, out there, you know, there are like bad people in each end and not all guys that travel over there are sincere and just have their motives in mind and some are women you know not necessarily the nicest people in the world so we get that on both ends but overall you know majority of people you know, there are bad people here bad people there but there are so many good people in the middle you know it's just, and that's what we're here for to help those people in the middle meet each other and be mm -hmm. happy and create happy families Wilkerson, answer the poll question. I married my wife from Davao, Philippines, yeah. uh, who I met through the site from a club tour. Yeah, Patrick, yeah. congratulations. That's been what, probably a what, couple of years you guys been married or something like that. A year? It's been a while, right? Poll question. I had had dates with three Slavic women before going on AFA tour. One was from Slovenia, one from Minsk, whose father was in Red Army, uh, and one from Bulgaria. They were attractive and interesting and provided me some insight into the culture. That said, dating in Ukraine is different than dating Slavic women in the United States. P.S. I need to communicate with Anna soon about Euroclub. My experience with dating in Shenzhen was the most of the Chinese girls were wanting to know all my personal details, including why I, I would I divorced and how that affected my net worth. Uh, that was a little insensitive. Uh, two of the ladies were a little more discreet and kept the date in, more, in a more romantic mood. Well, I can see why women want to know the reason for a divorce, technically, I mean. It, I mean, it makes sense because they're going to be moving to foreign country for you, possibly, you know, in the future. So, so you want to know what, what happened in your previous relationship and whether it will happen and will affect her or will happen to her. It's important. Yeah, maybe she's lower herself, you know, and yeah. she want to find out everything. Yeah, girls are really different. If you don't like girls, uh, you you don't like girls who are talking like that or asking you right away, you should meet, date with them. But it depends on the girl. Some girls are really romantic, you know, and uh, ask you about your life and garden. Like I met my husband, and first question, I, he said, I live in my own house. And I asked him, do you have a garden? Because I mean, I'm from St. Petersburg, and uh, if we have our house, we have a garden right away. We, we grow vegetables there, we eat the vegetables. And he said, why do you need a garden? I go to the store and I buy those things. Those things. So. It depends on the girl, of course. Somebody want to know about garden. Somebody want to know about uh, divorce stuff. So. <laughs> but again, divorce is a little more practical than you know yeah. garden because again, yeah, it's not a good subject for a first date. I agree. For the first date, it's really a little insensitive and it's you know invading somebody's privacy. I would say it's really not the right question to ask on the first date. But at some point, it is important to, you know, to talk about it. I'm sure you would want to know your past relationship experiences. Because you know what? Older we get, more baggage we all carry. And that's why older we get, harder it is to date. Because, you know, we start, you know, projecting our fears and insecurities to the future relationships. So, yeah, that's why we ask questions. It is complicated. When we're 16, we don't ask those questions. But when we're 30, 40, 50, 60, here the baggage coming up, you know. Uh, from Sean, internationally I had two meetings with Kharkov women, 30, women 31 and 35, fun dates, nice and non-materialistic girls. One was very attentive, uh, the other didn't speak English well, so it made it a bit hard. 
it's always easier to communicate with someone who speaks you know, your language, for sure. But, but you know, if she doesn't speak English, it's something what you can change, you know. What you cannot change is your feelings, you know. If you feel uh, something to the girl, so you shouldn't you know, refuse her just because she doesn't speak English. She can learn. It's, it's the easiest language for us Ukrainian and Russians to learn because we always hear music. We learn it in the school, university, and we just never had a practice to talk. So it's not a hard to learn language. Especially when you live in a country who, when everybody speaks, uh, you know, different foreign language. Are you frustrated with your current dating options? Perhaps you should consider expanding your horizons. Interested? Learn more at a-foreign-affair.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, then click on the notice bell and subscribe to our channel.